Today we're going to take a look at how to do advanced multicam editing in Final Cut Pro X. Hey what's up guys, this is Marco. So today we're just gonna get straight into it because there's a lot to learn about multicam. I've done a, a video before about multicam editing. You can see it here, but this is a little bit more advanced. There's some things I did not cover in that video, which uh, people have been asking me about. They, they've been asking me about syncing audio with video, with the video that has no audio. Also about color correction, color grading, and switching between different audio sources. So that's what I'm gonna cover today. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer. So here we are in Final Cut Pro X, but before we get started, I just wanna ask if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so because I'm making tutorials like this every week. If you wanna see more Final Cut Pro X tutorials, also hit like on this video, it tells me to make more. All right, so let's get into it. This is a project I recently worked on. This is an interview uh, with a video producer and I sat down with him and as you can see here, I had a one camera on him and one camera on me and I was going back and forth during our interview. So this is a multi-cam sequence. Uh, so let me explain a little bit about this. I have a camera on him and I'm recording audio to the camera and I also have a separate lab, which you could probably see here, uh, a lab mic, there it is. And you can see it there, right? And, I'll, and on my angle, I also have a camera on me and I am recording audio to this lab using a Zoom H1. Uh, now people have asked me, hey, how do I sync my video camera, which doesn't have any audio to my external audio? It's like, uh, it's really hard. You're probably gonna have to do it manually. You're gonna have to zoom in there and sync your audio to your lips because you need audio coming out of this camera and this camera to sync the audio with, with the external recorders, all right? So that's very important first and foremost. All right, so let's jump into it. Let's start from the beginning and I'm gonna show you how I color graded this, how I synced the audio, how I, was, how I made changes to the video clips. Uh, so it'll be pretty easy, let's get into it. So first of all, this is what it looks like without the color grade. This was shot flat in S-Log2, but I color graded. Uh, camera one, that's Henry. Camera 1A, I stopped the camera for like a minute and then I hit record again, that's why I have camera 1A. Camera two is my angle. Camera 2A is again, I stopped and hit record again. Now I also recorded audio to the labs. As you can see here, this is Henry's lab and this is my lab. So I wanna use all these uh, for my, for my multicam. So select camera one, hold down the shift key and select my audio lab. So it selects all these, right click, select new multicam clip. Here's where we can rename it. We can say, uh, interview, just name it interview. And we're gonna use the audio for synchronization. Remember, you need audio coming out of the camera in order to sync this using uh, the audio. All right, video 1080p, that's what I export at, hit okay. And here, it created this multicam called interview. Let's double click it. And let me zoom out a little bit just so you can see a, a full picture of what this looks like. Let me zoom out like this. Okay, so you can see here at the top, there's the the Henry's lab. Usually it's down here, but somehow this time it put the audio up top. I don't know why. Uh, here's, oh, I, I guess I know what it is. It's, it's putting it by the naming. So audio starts with A, camera one, C, camera one. Okay, so I know what it's doing. Um, it's, it's, it's being aligned by named. Okay. So here's the audio from Henry. And what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with editing audio because it just makes it easier. So here's, here's Henry's audio. And I'm going to make sure that the speaker is set to purple because I only want to play the audio coming out of here. And I can also set the, the screen you see all purple. So I'm only dealing with this tr top track, which is Henry's audio. So what I can do now is just edit this audio like I would in here in Final Cut Pro X. I have a tutorial on how to edit audio in Final Cut Pro X. So ch check those videos out. There'll be links in the description for that. Um, so you could add like the channel EQ, compressor, and an adaptive limiter, do all that good stuff. I'm not gonna cover it in this video, but that's what you wanna do. Once you edit the audio, then I would move on to my audio lab and again, select this screen and select the audio, this little purple speaker. So I'm hearing the audio out of my lab and I would do the same thing. Drop the channel EQ, 
do the compressor and the adaptive limiter like I show you in those videos, check the description. Okay, so now I've edited the audio. Now I can move on to the video clips. Again, I select camera one. I select this, uh, select the screen. So I'm looking at this angle. Now I'm gonna color grade it like I would any other video clip. Um, I use Color Finale. I have tutorials on that as well. Check the description. Or you can just use what's built into Final Cut Pro X. So I could use like the color board or the color wheels. I like to use the color wheels. So drop it in there and select this inspector. Here's the color wheels. Go in there, add some contrast to this S log footage. Maybe drop the midtones a little bit. And the, the temperature looks good. I'll leave it right there. How about I add some saturation? You can I can drop in the color board. Go to the saturation and just boost the saturation, the midtones, the master, and let's say that looks good. Okay, I like how that looks. I can also uh, scale in, like let's say there's this tripod leg. I don't want to see it in the frame, so I can just scale in here like that and maybe move it down just slightly like that. And let's say that looks good. Okay, now I want to copy all these effects to this camera 1A because I just stopped the camera. You can see here there's a gap. I stopped the camera and I hit record again uh, for whatever reason. So I'm gonna hit uh, select this clip, hit Command C, and now I go to this video clip over here and I make sure that the screen is selected. That way we're looking at this video clip and type Command Shift V. I'm gonna paste all these effects into this video clip. So now this video clip and these, this video clip is, is the same, all right? It's color graded the same. Now I do the same thing for my camera too, same thing. Uh, what's important is I select the screen because I'm not gonna use the audio from this video clip. So it doesn't matter if the speaker is selected or not, just the screen, it's what I needed to be selected so I can look at it. Uh, the same thing, you just add some contrast, do the color grade, crop in if I need to, like the scale. Maybe like that, and uh, maybe some color grade, color boarding. Let's say add some saturation. Okay, let's say that looks good. I mean, I'm just for the purpose of this video, let's say that I, I'm calling it that a color grade. Hit Command C again, select this video clip down here. Make sure the screen is selected for this track, camera 2A, and move the playhead over and I hit Command Shift v, v, paste it, and it pasted the effects from this clip to this. All right, so we're done with color grading and with sweetening the audio. Now it's time to cut this together. We're gonna cut between my angle and his angle. So how do we do that? First of all, you create a new project. So hit Command N is for new project, and we're just gonna call it Interview and Video 1080p, that's fine. And here, it create a new project called Interview. Now we're gonna take this multicam clip and drop it into our timeline. Now you can see here at the beginning is all black. It's, it's uh, blacked out is because I started the audio before I started recording the video. So first of all, this is just beginning somewhere over here. Let me let me. Now that we've done that, I can zoom in here. Hold on. I can make this so you can start looking at the audio audio uh, waveforms, you can do something like that. Okay, so I start talking like right there. This is where I wanna start. So I can just trim it. Uh, you can see, just drag it over, or you can do like option uh, left bracket, brings it over. Here's where I start. Let me close this out, the library, control command one, and I'm gonna bring up the angles, command shift seven, or view angles. And you can see here, I set it to nine angles. You can set it to four, but let's set it to nine just so we can see all our audio tracks and videos, okay? Um, so first of all, there's three options here. There's this yellow one that's video and audio, just the video and just the audio. So this is how we switch between all of these. I would suggest that you start the playhead at the be very beginning. And what I'm gonna do is I want the to hear the audio only coming out of his lab in my lab at the same time because it's gonna make it easier for me to edit just between each angle. So select this green, this is just gonna select the audio. Right now, only Henry's lab is selected, right? Only, if I play this, 
it's only going to play his audio. It's not going to play the audio from the camera, my lab, or the second camera. So only his. So what if I want to turn both audios on, my audio from my lab and his lab? So if I select this one, it's going to switch the, la the audio to my lab. I want both selected at the same time. So I select again Henry. And what I have to do now is go over here to the inspector to the right, hit the audio tab, scroll down, and also select my audio lab. Now, if I play this timeline, it's going to play both his lab and my lab at the same time. Okay, now that I've done that, I want to go back to the video clip. And now, if I do any changes, it's only going to be between Henry's camera angle and my angle. All right? So let's say I play this. I'm playing it. And like over here, maybe I want to switch right here to over to my camera angle. So how do you do that? Make sure, again, this is selected. And I select camera two. Now it's switched over to my camera angle. I play it, play it, play it, play it, play it. And like somewhere over here, I want to switch to Henry. Again, make sure this is selected. And then select camera one. And now I want to switch back to my camera, select camera two. Let's switch over to Henry's camera. And let's say you don't want to use your mouse to click over here. You can also um, count the numbers. Like this is clip number one. This is clip number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Uh, so if like, let's say I play this. Now I want to switch over to my angle. I select the number four. You see that? Because I'm clip number four. If I want to switch over to Henry, it's camera one, which is number two. This is camera angle two. So you can just use numbers instead of having to click with your mouse. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, you can always make changes to the audio. Like let's say if he's talking and I only want to hear his lab and I don't want to hear my lab for whatever reason, you can always uh, select the clip, make sure the playhead is at the beginning there and select uh okay select that clip and go to the audio and make sure that my audio is not selected that way i can only hear the audio coming out of his lab but uh that's up to you that, that's that's other changes you can make you can also always go back let's say i'm not happy with this color grade you can always select this arrow or you can double uh, select this arrow it'll take you back and you can also select the right arrow, it'll take you back to the timeline, or you can just double click in, the, in each video, it'll take you back to the multicam. And then again, you can make changes to your, to your color grade, to your color wheels, make sure this purple thing is selected, that way you can see just this audio clip, this track. And again, you would make changes, hey, maybe I want to add more contrast or whatever it is. And just remember, if I make changes to this video clip, it's not going to apply it to this video clip. So I need to make sure that I, I again paste those effects or somehow I line up the color grades because whatever changes you make to, to this one will not be applied to this one over here. OK, so just keep that in mind. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all you want to be aware of. Just use these arrows to go back to your timeline and and you know hopefully this makes it easier on you to edit interviews so there you have it hopefully that was easy enough to understand but if i wasn't please ask away down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you with whatever i can i'm not a professional in any means but this is what i've learned so hopefully it helps you out um yeah questions comments if you like this video please like it subscribe if you haven't already done so and uh guys i'll catch you guys on the next one